Maybe you have come across the term UNDRIP or indigenous rights and you're wondering what it means. UNDRIP stands for the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. It was written by indigenous peoples and the United Nations. A declaration is an official document which can support your cause at an international level. UNDRIP had been agreed on by all countries in the UN except the USA, Canada and New Zealand. This document describes what rights indigenous peoples should have. The declaration recognizes indigenous peoples as distinct peoples and also as a community who have the right to self-determination. Self-determination gives people the right to decide how they want to be governed and to choose how to practice their own cultures, traditions and beliefs. UNDRIP sets a standard and guides government relationships with indigenous peoples. Here are some of the rights which are stated in UNDRIP. Indigenous peoples have their own traditional laws and these must be respected by the government. The right to use their traditional languages, the right to protect their traditional knowledge, the right to control the use of their water, land, seeds and all other resources, the right to live by their traditional methods, the right to own and use their traditional lands. The Declaration also very importantly gives indigenous peoples the right to free, prior and informed consent. Which means that from now on, governments or companies need indigenous peoples' permission to use their resources and land. Let's take the example of an indigenous community who have a land rights issue. They know that their own government has signed up to the 46 articles in UNDRIP. In this declaration, it is written that indigenous peoples should not be forcibly removed from their land or territories. They use this article to support a land rights claim. They also ask the special reporter for indigenous human rights, called James Anaya, to remind their government of their commitment. This should make it very difficult for the national courts to remove the community's land rights. What is most important for the success of the declaration is that indigenous peoples themselves understand it. They need to know their rights and then demand that their government respects them. The declaration can be used by indigenous peoples to fight for indigenous rights. The declaration gives indigenous peoples the tool to make a change. An effective and fun way to use UNDRIP and support indigenous rights is with the help of participatory video or PV. PV is about making a film which includes the whole community. These films can be shown to governments and also sent to the special reporter James Anaya. They can also help connect communities all over the world. For more information and practical tips go to www.insideshare.org